<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all if you have a modified Xbox, how you can null out your hard drive key on your system. Well, kind of, sort of, null it out. You see, typically for years, nulling out the hard drive key would be taking the random 32 character key that was needed to unlock the hard drive and nulling it out to be all zeros. This made it much easier to remember in case you ever had to unlock it on something like a PC, it was fine. And if you nulled out keys across multiple systems, that could also mean in theory, you could just swap drives between systems easy enough without having to match up keys and such on there since they were technically matched at that point. However, nulling this key out to zero did have a bit of an issue in which for Insignia, the Xbox Live 1.0 re implementation and replacement service that nulled out hard drive keys would not work on this. So I'm going to be showing this for two reasons here, one of them being if you have a soft modded console for a bit more added security in that regard. Really what we can do when we modify the key at this point is as opposed to setting a key to all zeros, it changes it to all ones. It's easy enough to remember, it still has the same benefits of nulling it out and it does allow us to get onto Insignia. So just as an example, let's say you're somebody who you just soft modded your system or you soft modded it a while ago, that hard drive is locked to the system and it has to stay locked. However, you did not back up your EEPROM and let's say your hard drive dies. There's a few ways of reobtaining the EEPROM from the motherboard, but in this way, it's not as easy as just pulling a file that you might have backed up or already accessible. So in case you're stuck at that point and you need to rebuild another drive for your system, you can easily do so using a key of all ones if that has already been nulled on your console. And for anyone who nulled out their key to all zeros years ago, you can also do this to get your key to all ones. So I'm going to show a couple ways of doing that. First, I'll cover this for soft modded systems using the Xbox soft modding tool, then I'm going to cover this using config magic for hard modded consoles. I do also want to say for hard modded consoles, this isn't necessarily required if you haven't touched your hard drive key at all. If you have a randomized hard drive key, you don't really have all too much to worry about if you're running a custom BIOS, since those consoles can run locked and unlocked drives without any issues. However, if you are running a hard modded console with a custom BIOS and you do have a key of all zeros, you could follow along with this here using config magic and you can change that to all ones pretty easily. So first of all, let's cover this for soft modded systems. If you have soft modded your console like this one right here with the latest version of the Xbox soft modding tool, you should be able to actually do this all within NK Patcher. Now by default, when you install the latest version of the Xbox soft modding tool, you can come over to applications and you should have a nice shortcut called NK Patcher settings, which can do everything for you here. However, if you don't have this, I'll show you how to install it real quick. I do have a previous video showing you how you can utilize the extras disk. So what you can do is you can essentially run this like an application. If you transfer the extras disk with the attacher over to your console, you can simply go over to the Xbox soft modding tool extras disk and run it from here. Using the extras disk, you can come over to applications and install the NK patcher shortcut as long as you have it here. Mine is already installed, but I'll go ahead and reinstall it because why not? And there we go. Worst case, there is also config magic, which is available here. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you absolutely need that. We can just do it within NK patcher since it's cleaner and easier that way, in my opinion. So with that, go ahead and turn off your Xbox and turn it back on. If you did have to put that shortcut back on, you can now go to applications and launch the NK patcher settings. Once this opens up, go down to EEPROM, go down to advanced features, go to hard drive and hit change EEPROM hard drive key. This is going to give you a warning and heads up of what all is happening here. As long as you understand the risks involved, you can accept if you wish to do so. It will also give you a message showing the master password in case this is needed. So keep that in mind as well too, but thankfully this one's pretty well documented. At this point, we're just going to let it go through the process. You don't have to touch your controller, just let it do its thing, update the EEPROM, unlock, relock the drive and all of that.
Once that's all been completed, we can exit out of NK Patcher and go back to the dashboard. So here we go. At this point, we can come down to system and check our settings just as an example. I believe this would be within system Xbox info. And as you can see, our hard drive key has been nulled out to all ones, meaning if I need to swap this out with another system that's been nulled to all ones that requires a locked drive, or if I need to access this on my PC and I don't have the EEPROM available, this is easy enough. So that does help out quite a bit on a soft mod. Plus, as I said, since this is all ones, we're now able to get this registered onto Insignia without much issue. For a hard modded system, again, I don't necessarily recommend doing this if you're running a custom BIOS such as running a mod chip or a TSOP flash with a custom BIOS. I don't necessarily recommend this unless your key has been set to all zeros, so that way you can correct it to all ones. But if you have a randomized key, you really don't have to worry about this. However, if you do want to change this here, we can do about the same thing just using a different application. Again, I do have a previous video that I'll have linked down below in the description that will show how to use the Xbox soft modding tool extras disc. I know it does say soft modding tool, but it is a pretty great disc right here that we can use. And you also don't need to burn this off if you check out that video for the extras disc. What we can do is we can use this to install a newer version of Config Magic. To specifically check the hard drive key on your hard modded system, it would be worth going into your settings on your dashboard, go to your system settings, more information for the Xbox info, and look at the hard drive key that Unleash X or your dashboard might be bringing back. If it's set to all zeros, continue on, but if it's a random set of characters, I wouldn't recommend doing this here. So once you have this extracted out, transferred, and set up for a hard modded system, go ahead and fire up the extras disk. Within here, we're going to go down to the advanced menu, enter this, go down to advanced apps, go to config magic, and we're going to install this over. I typically install my stuff over to the e applications share. So we can say yes, and let it install. Now with all of that installed, we're good to go at that point, and we can exit out of the extras disk and exit back over to our dashboard. Once installed, just go over to your applications, verify it's there, and fire up Config Magic. When you open up Config Magic, you should get a big obvious warning that looks a little something like this. As long as you understand the risks here, you can press start to continue on. And you should get a little something like this once your EEPROM loads up here. Now, I am going to give another disclaimer here. If your unique hard drive key is showing up as all zeros, this is where you'd want to make this modification. But if it's showing up as all randomized characters, you don't want to continue on at this point. I recommend you keep it as is right here because this is going to work just fine. But if you do have a nulled out key from before that you need to correct, you're also going to need a drive that can lock and unlock with your system. So you can see that mine is showing as not locked because this drive is not locked into the system and we do need that to relock to the console in order to update in both the hard drive itself as well as the EEPROM. However, if you are going to be performing this here, what you can do is let's say you have an already locked drive, you would have to press the start button to open up this menu and go down to unlock hard drive and press A. Once it unlocks your drive, if it was already locked, what you can do is press start, go to edit EEPROM, go down to your unique hard drive key, press A, and you're going to delete all of the characters out of here assuming this is going to be all zeros. And at this point, you'd be replacing it with all ones. So you need 32 ones. However, what I do is I just spam one until I get to the end of the string here. Once that's complete, go down to OK, press A, and then you want to press Start, and you're going to update the Xbox EEPROM. With the Xbox's EEPROM updated, you would need to relock the drive to the system in order to update the password and such on there. So for that, you press the start button, go to lock hard drive, and let it do its thing.
If it was able to lock successfully, it should show up as a locked status, and at this point, that key would be reflected back over to the hard drive, so it would be matching with the motherboard. Again, in this instance, with my specific console, this one is not locking here, so I do know that it is out of sync, so I'm going to edit the EEPROM back to what it was, which again, if you have a unique string of characters, I would not recommend touching this. But if it's all to your liking, you can now close out of config magic and exit back to the dashboard. To verify your hard drive key has been updated, you can go into your settings, go into the settings for your specific system, and check out more information. And in there, it should show your new updated hard drive key. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it helped out. I hope you all are able to get back up and running or able to restore and kind of re -null your key all at the same time. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.